Hello everyone, Kelly here again from Kells Aquariums. Quick look at a product I've just bought. I'm just setting up another quarantine tank because I give my last one to my brother. Because my quarantine tanks have, <laughs> have always been just like proper tanks. I've always had gravel in, full wood, living plants. Trying to do it a bit different this time, but I wanted everything in the tank, if you know what I mean, with it being a quarantine tank. So I've bought an Oase Bio Plus Thermo 100. So it's got a built in heater, 100 watt a year. It's got 500 litre an hour pump. Uh, it can be turned into a couple of spray bars or a, just a jet. And it's got two um, sponge canisters on the bottom which come out for easy cleaning. So I ain't actually opened it yet. I'm going to do a video on the quarantine tank. The basic reason is my brother's got a couple of garamis that he don't want and I'll have them. I'll go in my tank, they're a bit big for his. So yeah, I'm going to have a look at this. I'm going to pull it to bits. Get everything out of the box and let you have a look. Because it looks a good piece of kit. Oh, has it? Since they've come into the uh, aquariums, the aquarium business, instead of just the um, pond business, seems to be doing alright. So it's only a little unit, it's 27 centimetres tall. My tank's 30 centimetres, which is why I've got it. So I've got some rubber suckers, a little Oasi quality certificate. I'll be the judge of that Oasi. Of books and oh Jesus, and bump right. So, I'm just going to stick the box at the back like so, so you can see it. Maybe so. What have we got? Let's have a look before I look at the photo. Bio plus 50, 100, and 200 booklet telling you all the action. Don't really care. I can go in a bin. The guarantee, a bit more important. So, five years plus. Two year, uh, sorry, five year warranty if you register, or three if you don't. Seems good. And another old thing. So let me just take this out of the box. And we'll get to it. So, oh, it's got two plugs. Oh, the heat is separate. Okay, that's fair enough. I can live with that. So I'm just going to do it there to make sure I'm in focus and everything. Get a bit of, a bit of a zoom on. So, yeah, what it is. It's just a corner filter, but it has an Oasa heater in the back, so quite a nice heater, very standard, a nice dial there, very clear so you can see what you want. But it goes and it fit real snug, so I'm just putting it down. Fit real snug, but as you can see there's a hole there, it just goes down to the bottom. Over that hole, like so. And the water passes through. It's got the heater can be used separately. It's got a separate plug and everything. So I'm just going to have to undo this because the the weight of the cables is going to drag it. Love it. Oh, so cute. That will do. Right, and then the actual filter itself has got its plug. So yeah, I've never done this. So I'd, oh no, here we go. <laughs> Figuring it out myself. So all you do to get the boxes off. So this gets stuck in your tank on the corner. And when it comes to cleaning, all you do is that, and this bit, as you can, oh, I can show you the, the heater a bit better, as you can see the heater's down here, and you've got a small pump up here, five, let's say 500 litres an hour, and there's the impeller, and that keeps stuck to your tank. So when you clean it, that lit this bit with the sponges and the media in just pulls off real quick. Okay, so let's just put that to a side. And have a look at this. So I've just knocked a bit off because you're not having me. So what we got here, just barely, I've just, what I knocked off was the pre-filter. So it's the wrong way around. So what it is, it sucks in from here. Uh, sorry, not pre-filter. It's polishing sponge. So what you've got is press the blue button, and all it is in them is a small plastic. Container with a block of sponge in there, or you could put anything you wanted in there. If I'm being honest, I'm actually going to cut the sponge out the section and I'll leave these two side pieces in so it, all the muck gets filtered through this. But then I'm going to put some seeded bio media in there. But yeah, that's all it is, it's pretty straightforward. Just have a look. Yeah, it's just a bottom piece that's now special, it's just so it all fits together nice. So yeah, you've just got two of these. So click and off. 
So, just a small compartment. So you can get a bigger one here, the 200, which has three of these, or the 50 that only has one. And I say you get a, just a nice piece of good honest coarse sponge, which is fine, but I say I want to use seeded media, so I'm going to cut it and put some seeded media in. And then you've got this, dun, 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 which has got some fan sponge in. You can actually get filter floss to go in it, but you know you buy a piece of filter floss, but you just cut it. Buy a big big reel and cut it, but yeah, so that's real fine foam. So that'll stop all the uh, muck getting through. And that's basically it. Just a very straightforward little filter. Just to put it all back together. So then you throw that over there, that's how you do it. So each of these just click in easy as that. Clunk. Now the door, because that's the bottom one. So there we are, that one clips in, that one clips in there, so that's all your media and all you do is to say this would still be in the in the tank, I say I'll be doing a video called quarantine, new quarantine tank or something later and you'll see this in action running and that just clicks in, it really does click in easy, look, in and out, easy as that. But yeah, so what you have, I'm just going to zoom, a little bit of a zoom up here. Right, so, here, you've got this dial, which is really annoying, that's to turn, it just wasn't the first bit. So that changes from spraying out of these holes, or this one, so you can have all of it going that way, or you can have it going across the sections of your tank like that. And that's pretty much it. There's a wire, a cable tardy thing down there as well. But yeah, very nice little piece of kit. Fit real nice in the corner of my tank because I didn't want to, I've got canisters but I just couldn't be bothered for this because me uh, I'm using a TMC signature tank so there's no holes caught, there's no real lid I've got a lid but it's a net one which has got metal frame so I don't want anything coming in and out of the tank so I'd have to modify it so this is going to be a beast so that's that quick unboxing of the URZ Thermo uh, Bio Plus Thermo 100